is synonymous with being relaxed, stress-free, and drama-free. Uh, yeah. But this is what the scripture says. Y'all ready? Blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are they who mourn. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake. Blessed are you when others revel you and persecute you. Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. It's painful, but it's a blessing. So in Luke chapter 6, verse 22, the Bible said, blessed are you when people hate you. Some of us can go ahead and punch in our card right now and declare, I'm blessed. I know I'm blessed. Now, according to scripture, you can't make this claim if everybody likes you. My blessing comes when I'm hated. How blessed I am is connected to how hated I am. I know that you want everybody to like you, but the truth of the matter is, there's no blessing in it. Oh my goodness, this is going to be hard. The description says you are blessed when they intentionally exclude you. <laughs> no, you didn't forget about me. <laughs> we didn't think you wanted to go. <laughs> You excluded me on purpose. The Bible says when they exclude you, you are blessed. Watch this. When you are rejected. Amen. This hurts, this hurts, this hurts. Do you know, can we go deep? Do you know the first time Adam and Eve experienced pain? It wasn't when they got busted. That, that wasn't <laughs> It wasn't when God handed down punishment. That, that wasn't it. <laughs> the first time Adam and Eve experienced pain was when they got kicked out of the garden. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Yeah. I understand that I was wrong, but now you're going to exclude me? You're kicking me out? I know I messed up, but I can't come back here anymore? Think about it. I, I can understand if you destroyed the whole garden, but it's still there. Mm -hmm. But but who's going to dress it and keep it now? And I know that you don't want us back in it because I can see the flaming sword. Mm -hmm. I feel excluded. I'm hurt. Excluded means that you're not invited on purpose. The pain and the rejection <clears throat> was that the relationship, watch this, this is what hurts, will never be the same. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's what hurts. You are my friend. You are my family member. And because of the incident we had with each other, the relationship will never be the same. Yes, I'm going this way, you're going that way, but it still hurts. Here we go. Uh, maybe you've never lost a good thing. Uh, but for them who, who used to walk in the garden in the cool of the day, chit chatting with the Almighty, this hurts. Mm. So, Pastor Jay, with all of this going on, you're trying to tell me that I'm blessed? Mm. Oh, my goodness. You, you have a lot to learn about blessings. <laughs> Uh, do, do you know how much it hurts to be rejected from something that was perfect for you? Yes. Perfect fit for you? It was the perfect opportunity for you? I have the perfect skill set for that job, but you still rejected me? Has anyone ever been rejected? Yes. <laughs> You ever felt like you were an outsider? Yeah. Yeah. Even in your own family? Yeah. Too dark? Yeah. Too chubby? Yeah. You didn't go to school like we did? Yeah. You don't make the money that we make? Yeah. So therefore, we don't hang with you? Yeah. Yeah. This hurts! Yeah. 
Now here's the problem. Here's the problem. When I was five years old, they hurt because I wanted to play with them. Yeah. When I was 16, it hurt because I wanted to be a part of them. Mm -hmm. Even when I was 20 and I got my first job, it hurt because I wanted to eat lunch with them. Mm -hmm. But now I'm 35, 40, yeah. 45, 50, 60 years old. Mm -hmm. And I have to ask the question, why does it still hurt? Okay, here we go. I know, I know y'all, y'all don't hurt like I do, but let me see can I help you. It hurts. But I just learned how to play it off better. Mm. Mm -hmm. Being older has taught me how to keep my composure in a group setting. Mm. Yeah, okay, Pastor, you you say that I'm blessed, but I don't feel like it. Yeah. And on top of that, the scripture says that they are talking about me. Watch what it says. It says and insult you. Okay, okay, let me see. Y'all don't went too far now. Uh, <laughs> in the project, those are fighting words. You insulted me? <laughs> see, this is this is what we do in the, in the hood. If you talk behind my back, it's all right. But it's always one messy person that will come to you and tell you to tell you what they say. <laughs> and here's the declaration in the hood. Tell them to come say it. Tell my friend. Y'all ready? I hope y'all can do it. In this scripture, they're saying it to his face. Those are fighting words. You can't take that back. How many apologies can you give me after you have insulted me and expect for the relationship to still remain the same? As long as you maintain who you are. Watch this. The Lord said, you're blessed. Amen. As long as you can keep your composure and your spirit, God said, blessings are coming yeah. Yeah. your way. Yeah. Oh, God, I, I got to preach this. When, when the blessing settles on you, then the language changes to you being blessed. <laughs> blessed is an action word. To be blessed means to be fully satisfied. Yeah. Huh. It, it's receiving God's favor regardless of the circumstances. Amen. The blessing give, God that gives us is fully satisfied in him. Watch the scripture. It says, blessed are you when they reject your name as evil. Yeah. Watch this. Because of the Son of Man. Mm. Yeah. Because of who you are in Christ. They're talking about you. He said, you are blessed. Now that I'm blessed, watch this. Here's my responsibility, Brother David. I must bless others. Huh, that's that's kind of hard to do. Jesus said, bless those that curse you. Say, that hurt. <laughs> but you're not going to be blessed, watch this, if you don't. Okay, y'all, okay. Uh, First of all, first of all, get the order right, okay? When you get blessed, you don't have the spirit to go out and just start blessing other folks. No, no, you, you're not there yet. When you get blessed, the first thing that you must do is bless the source that blesses you. Out of reverence, my first blessing would go straight back to the source that blessed me. Yeah. David put it like this, bless the Lord, yeah. oh my soul. Mm -hmm. Because I know I'm blessed because they're insulting me, they're talking about me, and I'm still satisfied with it. Bless the Lord, yeah. Yeah. oh my soul. Because mm -hmm. once I can bless the Lord, now I can bless you. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> Now, now, now I can bless others out of reverence. Hold on before you get too happy. Remember, remember that you're still hurting. Okay? Remember that you're still wounded. You remember that the one you're blessing, they're the ones that rearrange your life. Right. Remember the one you're blessing is the one, the reason why you don't have a job right now. Uh, that, that hurts, that hurts. Okay, here we go, here we go. 
Here we go. Blessed is the man who can give blessings even though he's hurting. Blessed is the man who can give blessings even though he has a knife in his back. Blessed is the man who can give blessings even though he's rejected. Even though he's talked about and misunderstood because of the Son of Man. Okay, to be blessed. To be blessed means to praise, congratulate, salute. Uh, 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 we use it as a catchphrase. Don't hate, congratulate. Mm. Mm. It means to be happy, to be satisfied and fulfilled. It means to speak well of. To speak well of somebody, focusing on the good words or the good report of someone in spite of <coughs> who they are. Right. <laughs> that, 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 that's the one. Yeah. Jesus said, oh my goodness, if you do this, he said, now I bless you. But I never knew that blessing someone who cursed me came with a blessing for me. <laughs> That's strange. I'm feeling bad because of what you said to me. But in order for me to be blessed, I have to speak well. <laughs> Y'all better get with me. Y'all have a lot to learn <laughs> about blessings. Uh, uh, in our text of Psalm 86, it says this. Uh, Blessed. That word blessed. That word blessed in Psalm 86. Uh, it, it's speaking about you being blessed because people <clears throat> are persecuting you. Okay. Um, in Judges 6, we see God speaking well over someone who isn't there yet. There's a man named Gideon who, who's afraid and, and he he sees his people going through stuff. Mm -hmm. And he's afraid to be a leader. And, and the angel comes and he says these words, Oh, get it, that mighty man of valor. Here's the problem. Brother Dickens, he had done nothing yet. <laughs> he's scared. He's hiding. And, 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 and he doesn't want to go out to fight. But the angel called him a mighty man of valor. He speaks over him, watch this, with a blessing. Now, here, here's the scripture that we understand that in chapter 6, verse 22, Jesus is saying these things like the Beatitudes. This is your attitude to have when they do this to you so that you can be blessed. Okay, I understand that. Uh, but, but just because somebody says something good about me, how does that make me blessed? I, I'm not understanding that. Uh, someone wrapped it up in a scripture. If you think about what God is saying, someone wrapped it up in a song too. Y'all remember the song? He saw the best. Y'all better hurry up and sing that song. <laughs> when everyone else around, see, they know I got bad things going on. Everybody can see that. Yeah. But I'm blessed because he saw the best, the best in me. Yeah. And he didn't speak on the bad thing. Yeah. He spoke to me on the good thing. Yeah. And now I'm blessed. Yeah. Oh, I think uh, it's a statement of goodwill and happiness yeah. that you say about another as well as the condition that fulfill those good words. In other words, you can't fake bless somebody. Mm -mm. <laughs> you either mean it or you don't. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to get with y'all black people because here's what we're going to say. Uh, uh, I'm not there yet. <laughs> I'm not there yet. Okay? Here's the problem. If you say, I'm not there yet, Jesus is going to say, I'm not there yet. Yeah. Are y'all getting it? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I don't bless you, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Jesus is saying, you don't get the blessing right. from me. See? Okay. Uh, uh, and, and through his blessings, 
He wished to restore upon you the favor that was lost in the garden. So if you really want God's favor, you need to speak well of those who persecute you. Amen. To know that you are blessed. blessed. Okay, the ultimate blessing comes from God. We know this, right? Yes. Because he has given us new life and forgiveness that comes through the faith in his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. So come here, black people. This is going to hurt you. <laughs> here we go. Blessings aren't necessarily material things. Mm -hmm. The material things that we enjoy are temporal. Because one day, you're hollering about it. Then the next day, it's taken away from you. That was a temple. And God is not temple. Whatever God gives you, it's eternal. The joy, the grace, the forgiveness, man can't take those things away from you. But he can take away that fancy car. Yeah. Uh, he can take away that beautiful house. Yeah, yeah. But he can't take away your joy. Right. Yeah. Uh, we, we're blessed in his name. As the blessings are pronounced, the glory of God is revealed in accomplishing the task that he has assigned us to. Uh -oh. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. When God blessed me with my assignment, he never read the small print about the pain attached. Oh. Mm -hmm. He showed me the new job, but he never mentioned the shiesty co-workers. <laughs> he showed me the new business, but he never told me that my home would be falling apart. He showed me that I was flowing in my guilt, but he didn't show me that my so-called friends were going to second guess my call. He showed me my acceptance of the award, but he didn't show me that my own family was going to reject me. Wow. And there is nothing I can do about it. And if I want to be blessed, I must take it like a good soldier. Yeah. Oh, God, I tell you, yeah, I have a lot to learn yeah. about blessing. Man. If I want the victory, watch this, brother Al, I have to hold up the bloodstained banner yeah. that is covered yeah. in my blood mm. from the knife in my back. But when they cut me below the belt, yeah. it's coming in my blood. Yeah. Yeah. But I got to still hold up the victory. Yeah. Uh, so let me see, can I bring it closer? Blessed is the mother who keeps being a mother to her children's children while they go wild and run the streets. Mm -hmm. Blessed is the spouse who keeps praying for no good Negro. Mm. Blessed is the mother who worked two jobs to put her kids through school with no financial support. I heard the preacher say that God is going to get some glory out of this. But you had no idea that it would be connected to pain. Yes, it's plugged into your obedience, your dedication, and your service. Did you ever take the time to think that your pain is measured by your blessings? You ever, I told you, you got a lot to learn about blessings. Yeah. Uh, those of, who are not blessed for this, watch this. You give up too easy. Mm. You fuss and cuss the whole time while you're going through. <laughs> you mean, mud, and wish hateful stuff on folks <laughs> while you're going through. Yeah. But to be blessed, watch this, mean I can still praise God Amen. and congratulate you yeah. even yeah. though you don't mean me any good yeah. and I'm at peace with you. Yeah. 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 Because I'm blessed. When you're blessed, you don't need to act a fool. You don't need to fly off the handle. You don't need to give nobody a piece of your mind. You don't have anything to get off your chest. You don't need to pay them back or get even with them. You're blessed. Act like it. If you weren't so blessed, you wouldn't have so many attacks. Mm -hmm. They are not attacking you because your name is Bill, mm -hmm. Sam, Dorothy, or Charlotte. They're attacking you because of his name. Mm -hmm. You are blessed. Yeah. Here's a small friend, small friend. Mm -hmm. Jesus told us, he said, if they 
He knows all the things we need, the resources, because he's Lord over the universe. He has everything at his disposal. He's omnipresent, omniscient, and omnipotent. He's everywhere at all times, and he knows everything. So I have a problem. If God knows everything, why don't he just give it to me? He knows what I need. Why can't he just see me struggling? Give it to me. Oh, my goodness. We've got a lot to learn about blessings. It doesn't work that way. Uh, husbands, can I teach you something? Boyfriends, can I teach you something? Here we go. Uh, I might get in trouble for this, but in my house, we have a running joke. Okay, because uh, I like to be around the bush a lot, <laughs> and so some uh, sometimes my wife would tell me what to say to her. <laughs> tell me I'm beautiful. <laughs> I look at her and say, "You know you're beautiful." <laughs> she said, "Tell me I'm beautiful." I say, "I'm beautiful." <laughs> it's a running joke, but here is the spiritual part of it. God knows who he is. Amen. He just wants you to see it. That that's what's going on. He already knows who he is. He already knows what he does. But he needs for you to say it. That's how you get a blessing. Can you speak good about the one who created you? Oh God, this is why the psalmist said, I will bless the Lord. At all times, his praises shall continuously be in my mouth. He said, my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. When I brag, it's not about me. I brag on my God. Oh, God. To God be the glory. Pastor, you did preach a good sermon. To God be the glory. The most holy ones. The one who rides in heaven. The glorious one, the one who gives me strength every morning, the reason why I sing, because he saved me. I praise you and only you, Lord. You're my God. You're the God of my ancestors. You're the God of me, and you'll be the God of my children and my children's children. Amen. All of this is good stuff about the one who created me. Amen. Oh, in the Baptist church, we say it like this, God is good. All the, all the time. time. And all the time. And all the time. God is good. God is good. It's a compliment yes, it to the one who created yes, you. Yes, okay, I got I gotta go. Here's the last one. Take out pen, paper. Here we go. When Jesus was on the cross, he was giving us a blessing. Mm -hmm. yes. huh. The pain that he went through was blessing us. Oh, we got a lot to learn about blessings. When Jesus was on the cross, going through pain with blood coming out of his body, it was a blessing for somebody else. Do you love somebody that much to hurt for them? Do you love somebody that much to speak kind for them? Oh, but okay, I'm talking to black people. Do you love somebody that much? to take up for them when men speak evil of them without telling them. This is what Jesus did for us. He was up there and they was chucking insults his way mm -hmm. and he never did throw them back. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. It was a blessing for us. And the Bible says that the gospel is his birth, his living, his death, and his, watch this, resurrection and ascension, and his coming back. Oh God. Sister so Carter, I have a problem. The last time he left, he was in pain. Mm. Oh my goodness. I wonder how he's coming back. 
Oh, I, I hope he's still who he says he is. I hope he doesn't have what they did to him on his mind. I sure hope that he had what he did for us on his mind. Because he's blessed. And if he comes back that way, guess what? We're blessed. Amen. We're blessed because, watch this, he went through it for us. The pain that he went through was for us. And now, all we can do is say thank you. Thank you. Okay, y'all still didn't get it. Let me try again. All you can do is watch him. You can't help him. Go through what he's going through. There's no way you can do anything about it. He died because of you. He died because of us. He defended us, even though we wasn't worthy of it. We still lie. We still cheat. We still halfway praise him, halfway come to church, halfway read his word. And he's still saying, oh God, here's the blessing. Father, forgive him. For they do not what they do. We are blessed and highly favored. Okay, let me let me try it again. Let me try it again. I gotta go, Brother Howard, but let me try it again. Highly favored means you were really low. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you were really low if you were highly favored. That means everything about you shows that you shouldn't be here. Hmm. Have you ever showed up somewhere and you looked and you went, well, I know, what, what's she doing here? <laughs> because everything about her tells you that she shouldn't be on the list. Yeah. Yeah. How did you get past security? Hmm. <laughs> you, you, you in heaven, here you go, because you think you've done so well, and here comes your ex <laughs> well, y'all get it now. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> because you're blessed, you better speak well over somebody else in order to get your blessing. Mm. This is what Jesus said. He said, I saw Satan fall like lightning. Why? Because he refused to bless anybody but himself. Watch this, watch this. I know I'm blessed and highly favored because I know I don't deserve to be here. Right. But that's why I say thank you. Yeah. Watch this, here, here we go, I'm closing. You don't know what's in my thank you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever said thank you, Sister Carter, with tears running down your eyes? Yes, yes. Shaking, but it's not cold in here? Yes. Yeah. Moving, dancing, but there's no music. Yeah. Yeah. Because on the inside of me, I know yeah. that I'm blessed and highly favored. Yeah. Yeah. And I can't describe it to you. Yeah. You'll think I'm crazy. Yeah. You won't even let me preach if you let me describe it. But I know I'm blessed, and all I can do is say thank you. Thank you. God bless you. May keep you. Thank you.